Here comes trouble in the form of damage control. You're right about that, Saxton. This is one of the most dangerous groups around. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion and the WWE Women's WWE World, World WWE. Champion, Bayley! Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bayley, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing. They've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to and fight. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. This woman will tie her opponent up in knots. You're right about that, Cole. Shayna Baszler is so confident in her abilities and her knowledge of this game. Well, who can forget Baszler's incredibly dominant run as NXT Women's Champion? I'd just like to send my condolences to anybody whom Shayna Baszler sets their sights on. No stranger to championship gold, Baszler has to be eyeing this as an opportunity to raise her stock in WWE. I fully believe that titles and wins are just bonuses for Shayna. What she really likes is the fight itself. Shayna Baszler ready for in-ring competition here tonight. Prides herself in the fact that she's well-versed in catch wrestling, a hybrid form of grappling, as well as her extensive MMA training and experience. Oh, Baszler prides herself in the fact that she's a straight-up fighter. Plain and simple, no muss, no fuss. She does what she has to do whenever it's time for her to compete. There is definitely a method of Shayna Baszler, quite ruthless brand of offense. That's something to be on the lookout for here. And then we have Bailey. Lover or hater, there's no denying Bailey's a trailblazer. She's had so many iconic, first of their kind matches. She's made a career of making history. Yeah, putting her personality and antics aside, Bailey has accomplished some astonishing things. And I know she's got big aspirations of even greater heights to come. Corey, what exactly is it that Bailey needs to do here? And wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Trapped in the armbar. You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. way up high. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Up high. Look out below. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. One. She'll take things into the ring. Two. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? How's that for a counter? A counter answered by another counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Now her DDT. Ah, oh, look at this. Careful mat slam. Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. What a reversal by Bip. Uh-oh, Cora got cut off the win. Guillotine. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. Why would a bridge it out? Incredible. She's starting to look concerned. You suffer a direct hit like that, and it's tough to move. 
ever. Well scouted by Baszler. And into the count. Kicks out at just one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Trapping the wrist and the knee to the jaw. She's trying, trying to create space. Toss. Nasty knee. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Ooh, look at her answering back. Boom. Head first. Three. Using her powerful legs to create some distance. Spear! Spear! And Bailey met with some resistance there. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. What she does, maybe she just doesn't care. And now she's getting back into the ring. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. And she and Baszler scouted. Neither competitor is backing down. Slugging away with everything they've got. The fight is on, and it's furious. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. And Bailey connected nicely there. She's got her where she wants her. Up high. Cross body from the top. Look at it. This was quite the win for Bailey here tonight. Just remember, a defeated Queen of Spades is an angry, dangerous Queen of Spades. The raid is about to begin. Brace for pillaging and destruction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla at a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking. 
You can just feel the ferocity of this trio. Yeah, Eric and Ivar are vicious as it is. But when you add Valhalla, it's even worse. Her presence certainly alters things. It's almost like she awakens their bloodlust. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Gunter. And their opponents, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight of 440 pounds, the Raw. Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperia! Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the bell, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no brakes. I don't know if anyone can match this one. Off into the pin. Stop the ref count before two. Still in it. He got whipped into that corner. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. He's got him scouted. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. I've been waiting to see that. Bang! He must have had that scouted. Placing them into the corner. Just launched. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Had that one scouted. One, two, two. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Next suplex. Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Toss back into the ring. Three. And 
what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. And Vinci turning it around. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, right to the throat. self-discipline couldn't save him from that attack. Yeah, as that was that aggressiveness we talk about when it comes to the Viking Raiders. Big forearm. Boom! Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Got to find a way to get out of this. Here he comes off the tag. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Up top. She's stamping an end to this. There's two! He's still in this fight. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating with pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Reversal! What a counter! He went right into that turnbuckle. And Finchie turning it around. Tag. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down. This could do it. Giovanni Vinci.
Taguchi and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperia! Eric and Ibar came to raid, but they're getting paid less with the loss. Well, like all good Vikings, Eric and Ivar went down swinging, but this result has to sting. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. This man's opponent has winning embedded in his DNA. A major test when facing off against Braun Breaker. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. And there's definitely a new spark in Baron Corbin these days. It seems he's rekindled something that might have flickered out some time ago. He's just so much more focused now. And we all know that a focused Corbin is a dangerous Corbin. 
And then we have Braun Breaker, a hungry young superstar whose fast evolution has been stunning to watch. It seems like every time we see him, Braun is getting tougher, getting stronger, and earning more experience inside the ring. Yeah, it's a scary thought, but Breaker really is getting better all the time. You blink twice and he'll have found some way to up his game. He is quickly becoming one very dominant superstar. And well-timed maneuver there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Tilt the world, driven down in a side slam. Has them up, nice waist lock, takedown, holding on, how about another? Establishing complete control. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Spinebuster! Nighty-night. Tearing down the leg now. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Powerbomb! Picture-perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Laid down with a powerbomb. Braun Breaker can really be like a dog with a bone when he's got his sights set on his opponent, Corey. How do you combat something like that? How do you keep Breaker down? Well, Cole, that's where in-ring IQ and veteran instincts come in. He narrowly avoids the count. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Tremendous. Uh-oh. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And that intensity of bronze got tapered down a bit there. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to bear him. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Specifically targeting the leg. Squaring off right by our announce table. Power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Breaker just looking to humiliate his opponent. Shot to the gut will break things up. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Into the pin attempt. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. He is looking to do some serious harm. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. A fire has been lit inside. Play impossible. Shoulders down. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker standing victorious in the ring. Corbin has to be wondering where he fell short tonight. 
Some introspection could be good for him, Corey. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. Who could forget when Austin Theory beat John Cena at WrestleMania? And in case you forget, I'll remind you every time. When you have a rise like Theory has, every match presents a major test in your career. And he's passed every one of those tests so far. Unfortunately, there are too many doubters and haters who fail to realize just how talented Austin is. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the Bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Uncle Howdy is here. Bray Wyatt's visions have come to life. And now, no one is safe. We've seen Uncle Howdy many times, but his actions, his motivations are still unknown. I'm so confused about so much when it comes to Howdy. We've seen him aid Bray Wyatt. Other times he's attacked Bray Wyatt. Heck, is he really even Bray's uncle? Well, one thing's for sure. Uncle Howdy is a frightening opponent for any competitor. Guys, can I be honest for a second? I am... Really scared. We know. Aren't you guys? I'm just sort of darkly curious. It's impossible to look away because there's no telling what happens next. Hey, howdy. Byron's been talking about you. No, oh, no, 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 no. Quiet, Michael. Be quiet. He said your mask is stupid just and you don't scare him. Stop, Corey. You're going to get me hurt. Byron, get your hand off my leg. Watching the ghost of the man who sold the world 
Uncle Howdy. Giving me chills to my core, Michael. A lot of mystery is wrapped around Uncle Howdy. Like, what's his story? Why the mask? It's all just so unsettling. Why Uncle Howdy is here tonight is one question we do know the answer to. And that is to inflict pain. And he's squaring off with the boisterous Austin and Theory. While he loves to run his mouth, Theory certainly does back it up. That's something you can't deny, Saxton. Theory's had a tremendous windfall of success. That's a lot of momentum to try and stifle. What a clothesline! Ouch! Pressing the foot to the back of the head. Right to the back of the neck, that had to hurt. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. And Uncle Howdy just got met with some fearless offense. Yeah, and Theory had him well measured. Attacking the arm. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. What a crisscross. What a rolling elbow. He thinks he has. Shoulder up before two. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. He reverses it. Oh, ouch. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Howdy with the counter. And gets tossed back into the mat. to him here in this one, or is it the kind of mind games that could be beneficial to him? In this particular case, Cole, I think Theory could stand to cut back on the showboating. I think he's up against someone who isn't going to take too kindly to it, and I'm pretty sure they'll put an end to it in a way of their own if Theory won't himself. Kicking out so early certainly sends a message. Whoa, stiff headbutt. These debilitating forearm strikes. Ooh, just relentless. Every strike more devastating than the last. Trap the arm. Put into the neck breaker. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Goodness gracious. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. What are we going to see from Theory? From the top. Expected that one. Ooh, a heinous rake to the back. And Theory is keeping the match at his pace. Theory is picking up steam. Goes into the pin. Two. And still hanging on. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Just mounted with punches. And not Howdy is becoming a bloody mess in there. Oh, what a close line. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. And a series of vicious stomps. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Oh! Look 
at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon sleeper. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew it could. Forearm after forearm after forearm. Teen off. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. Dropping the knee, a little. followed up by rapid knee strikes. Oh, foot just stomping down. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Blast off. Oh, misses the mark. The crowd is fired up. Howdy is fired up. And he's able to counter. Howdy with the counter. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And that hole is very bad. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Can they get the grip locked in? I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career longevity. Self and he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been. Maybe not. Maybe not. He kicks out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? to an end. Here is your winner, Uncle Howdy. An omen of a win for Uncle Howdy. What a victory. The power of Uncle Howdy is something to behold. Darkness has fallen over the WWE Universe and his mystique only grows. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. He's back at NXT.
A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's has been a journey of redemption, of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. Supreme confidence on the face of the Scottish warrior. A man who is ready for battle.
The LWO is in the house. It's cool until you say it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Gentlemen, when Escobar competes, greatness may just be imminent. And Santos isn't one to waste a big opportunity when he gets one. He will fight his heart out to achieve his goals. The voice of the voiceless has returned. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. I gotta tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. With Santos Escobar, you really can never tell what's going through his head or what his intentions are. It's because he's smarter than everyone else, Cole. Escobar has a killer instinct and knows what it takes to be at the top of WWE. Santos is set on forging his own path and no longer following in the footsteps of his former idols. There's no doubt that Santos is focused on causing damage to anyone, whether that's friend or foe. And then there's CM Punk, a man who is just as dangerous with a mic in his hand as he is in the ring. Yep, unquestionably one of the most controversial stars in this industry because of how he speaks his mind. Punk never holds back in anything he does. As far as Punk is concerned, no one is on his level, and he's ready to prove it. Looking at this matchup, Corey, is there anything you think Punk needs to do to get to keep the advantage? Punk needs to make sure he controls the pace as often as possible. Take charge and make this his match. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, that might have just broken something. He's absorbed some damage already. Punk never saw that coming. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Debilitating attack on the leg. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. And a suplex. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Devastating elbow. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Flying. Nobody home. Escobar able to dodge that. Uh-oh. 
What are they going to do here? How about a little? That's exactly what they were thinking. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Extend your elbow. Oh, what a kick. And the DDT. And he goes for the pin. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. And frustration might be starting to set in. The world puts on the brakes into a leg drop, and that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. This started as an exchange of some choice words, and it quickly escalated to some choice blows. Saxton gotta hurt getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents, and a collision in the corner now trampling the opposition. Targeting the leg there. Escobar has set his target. Escobar. Phantom Rider! Exclamation delivered by Escobar. Amazing! I thought that was it, but the resilient CM Punk refused to stay down. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. He's lining him up. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. And Santos is showcasing his unique Lucha Libre arsenal. Santos is showing no mercy out here. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Elbow to the leg, and look at this, just attacking the knee. Him pay with a counter. Ah, oh, Santos counters. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Bullseye with the drop kick. Jeez, and now Escobar has damage to his. Oh, looking for GTS. Going to sleep. Escobar's in serious danger. Cover. Victory. I agree with you. Looks to me like the wheels were spinning. Not finished just oh yet. A oh ladder. No. Really? A ladder? You've already won the match. Put the put it down. Go.
The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. You can feel the anticipation here as Bray Wyatt commands the WWE Universe. A man who always succeeds in unnerving his opponents. The time is almost at hand. Bray Wyatt is about to deliver a reckoning. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly almighty. And his opponents, first from Colorado. Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. And from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Frazier was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins, perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil-may-care attitude towards any opponent. High-flying, high-risk, high-reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. Here we go with triple threat rules in effect for this one, folks. For this one, it'll be Bray Wyatt, Bobby Lashley, and Nathan Frazier. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you got to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. I've seen Saxon throw out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. There's press. Hit right away. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And Wyatt falls to a counter. Ugh. 
Going for the ride. The fellow away slam. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. Their opponent is just snapping the neck. Ouch. Corey, this match gives competitors so much to consider. So much to be on the lookout for. What are some of the hazards? Well, you never know when you're going to be blindsided or which opponent will try to jack you up next. Allies become enemies at a moment's notice. A competitor needs every ounce of situational awareness they have if they're going to survive this. You got to check your chin. Oh, and a reverse DDT. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. A baseball bat with a weapon like that in play? This is not going to be good. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Saw that one coming. Shoulder tackle. Stiff head by taking the easy way. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Oh, Wyatt, full head of speed. And there was some force on that move. That has to take all the breath out of you. And Lashley got the fight taken to him. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Got him turned. Body gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. No, oh, Kendo stick wrapped around the head. Whoa, not quite yet. Tough position to be caught in here. Driven down face first. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Lashley is unable to stop any attack. This has to feel demoralizing for Bobby. Ooh, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Whatever's playing here can't be good. What's he open to find out there? Oh my, set three. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Uh-oh. Done. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Boom. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Why it turns that way? Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, and Seguri. Cover, cover. He's able to kick out before two. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Jeez, Lashley really spilling some blood now. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, triple threat match. Boom, what impact. Lashley just ended this. Nathan. Oh, God. Quick thinking from Lashley. Compromised position here. Piercing the throat. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running yeah. away. Oh, 
Anderson out there. You have to wonder where that one turn point is. From the pin and the win. Yes. Uh, barely kicks out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Right to the knee. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Oh, look at this. A chill springboard moves on. Elbow drop. That's creative. Here he goes for the win. Danny closes it out. Kicks out. He still has life. What? What? Oh, oh, what do you say? That This is amazing. What a match. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. To the arm, hyper extend your elbow. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Quick return to the ring. Ooh! Look out! It's a bomb. Things are looking dire for Lashley. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Not so fast. Cover here! And he picks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. And Nathan got bottled up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just planting them with that DDT there. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Razor not backing down one bit. And this one might be headed ringside. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come to this. Oh! He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Now that was athletic. This team works so well together. Backbreaker! And he gets sent back into the ring. The ice pack ready. Able to get the advantage here. Boom! Oof. Bray Wyatt sending a clear message here. He's heading back to the ring. Oh no! He's now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hole. There is no doubt. He gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Drop kick from behind. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Broken up. And the match continues. Suplex. Oh no. Face buster. Uh-oh, watch out. Ah, oh, they rush in leg sweep. Times two. <laughs> Elbow puts an end to that. Climbs back inside. Gray just taunting his opponent now. Uh. 
shifts it back onto him. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two. Mr. Two Titles has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion. And the NXT Champion, the Viper, Randy. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel. two titles does put a huge target on his back though everyone wants a piece of him a shot at one of those titles but he's holding it on with a vice-like grip Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. And his opponent representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! I've been this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right.
You just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. And he is truly the Tribal Chief of WWE. And from the look of things, Randy Orton's really been having a lot more fun lately. He has been, Cole, and that's what's made him even more dangerous. He's feeling himself. He's looser. He's more confident. Not that he ever lacked confidence, but he's not carrying the weight of the world anymore. I'd love to know his secret as long as it doesn't require me to RKO somebody. And he'll be facing the hand-picked leader of the legendary Anawahi bloodline, Roman Reigns. Hand-picked but fully earned, Saxton. Roman knows he has to fight for his whole family. He knows he's their greatest hope, which is why he'll do anything and everything to protect his and his family's legacy. Escapes in a nick of time. Luthez press by Randy Orton. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Bang right in the face. Orton never saw that coming. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Randy Orton has been at the top of the food chain at WWE for years now. Is his opponent just more prey entering the Viper's den? While Orton is still as dangerous as ever, his focus can be brought into question. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes the Viper will lose sight of his goals. If his opponents can capitalize... The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. Travat slip. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Shin breaker. He can do it here. An easy kick out there. Wow. Uppercut. Jordan. Reigns position at the head of the table being challenged there. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Right in the breadbasket. Randy Orton showing no mercy. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Oh, kick right to the back. Superman punch. Is it enough here? Turn around. The pin. The referee is missing the pin. No, kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Reigns has identified the target. Still in five. He thought he had it. There's a reason this man is called the Apex Predator. Tides are beginning to shift in the favor of the fight. He's got him down. Is this it? And he kicks out at two. Very close. The T clearly set again. Has them hooked, looking for sliced bread. What a counter! Power slam. Shoulders down. This could be it. And they kick out at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Right now, he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. Hoisted up. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Hooked up. DDT. He's struggling a bit here. When the Viper strikes, he does not hold back. The Viper escapes hard. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. A seesaw battle in front of us. These superstars have left a lot in the ring tonight. You gotta start wondering if they have anything left to give. Boom! What an uppercut. Hit a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Really just laying it in. the hand. 
The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. The big dog in an unusual spot here, extremely vulnerable. The big dog still has some fight left. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Orton getting ready. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. On the top. Great wherewithal on the counter. Boom, what a punch. Section. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. And more fight being brought to Orton there. I have to imagine Roman is looking to end this soon. Boom! What a right! Good golly, Miss Molly! What a reversal by Reigns. Big punch finds its mark. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Ooh. Who will break first? That is the question. Oh. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. And we might be about to go from combat. To participants in this one, fellas. Uh oh, the forearm's gonna cut off the win. Reigns with the guillotine. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. He still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. He uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Getting back into the ring. He beats the count, and this one continues. Bam! But Reigns! Orton is in big, big trouble. Cover! Wow, just barely making it out. The Viper will not perish. The Viper... Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. Victory there, and uh, his opponent's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac.
Uh, ready for this tag team matchup here tonight. Should be a good one. And confidently making their way to the rail. Oh, 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 a sneak attack. Well, we oh. knew the tag team division was heating up. I didn't realize it had boiled over. Yeah, you can't just jump the tag team like this. They're scheduled for a match. Well, they can't, but they just did, Saxton. And now these two marching down to the ring. What are they? Are they going to replace this team or something? It appears to be exactly what their intent is. No, there's no way. The official cannot allow this to happen. Well, these two teams have wanted to get their hands on each other for quite some time, and it appears the moment has arrived. Looks like... we're going to have a different match than actually was scheduled. Well, I hope the team that was attacked isn't too seriously injured. Well, go ahead, Saxton. Go backstage and check on them. Cole and I will watch this battle. And so there's the bell, but I don't know how much of a match we're in for after that sneaky assault that took place during the entrances. We'll just have to wait and see how that little scuffle alters the balance of power in this contest. Little scuffle? I think you're downplaying what we just saw unfold in front of us. Put into the corner now. Running drop kick in the corner. Ugh. Ooh, she just turned it around. Close line. Uh oh. Russian leg sweep. And here we go now. Elbow drop to the knee. And she'll make the tag. Oh, look at this. Hair pull that slam. Uh-oh. Face first. Forearm to the jump. This could be it. Bonsai drop. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, beautiful teamwork right there. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe we'll rework the game plan about now. Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. Boom! Face first. Tagged into action. Running Hurricane Rana makes the cover. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. She catches Katana with a counter. What now? Oh, yikes, a stomp to the guts. <laughs> Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, just turn that around. Tossed into the corner. This competitor has such a deep arsenal, we're about to see more of the springboard. Chelsea one step ahead. Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh, now. No! Canadian Destroyer! Wow, elbow! And able to cut Katana even further down to size. Yeah, and you can see the intensity growing with Green. You can tell passions are running pretty high here. Yeah, the intensity of this rivalry has really ramped up recently. That's exactly why I expect this to be a very entertaining match. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Honing in on the arm there. Ooh, forearm connects. Ooh. Stop. 
jump it away, and then the knee right into the throw. Just ruthless. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Bang! And an overbearing amount of offense against Nivet here. You cannot stop Katana when she's going like this. No way we just saw what we saw. That was physically impossible. Tag made, she's in. Reaches her partner. Tag! Just in time. Pointing the leg. Ooh. Face buster. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. And that unique style of Carter's paid off. She had it scouted. Counter after counter. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Left by the turnbuckles. Power drop kick. She catches Katana with a counter. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Rich in the arm. Boom! Close line. Knife edge chop. Katana's held close. Scoop slam! Wow, Chelsea got her. Pin! Oh no, I thought it was over. Good grief, this is chaotic. Come on, rep. Knew what was coming there. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Oh, brutal fall. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, an alley oop bomb. Quick thinking from Piper. This match is wearing her down. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Into a Hurricane Rana. Spiked them. Tag is made. Diving splash in the corner. This competitor has something bad in mind for their opponent. What a boot. Controlling the arm. The hammerlock. Flatliner. Cover! There's two! Point of the elbow finds the mark. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to... Stepping through. Into a roll. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. Looking wobbly in the corner. She manages to get control. Oh my goodness. Ah, we got a cover. Still only got one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this.
I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. Monster set up in the corner. What a shot! Kick to the abdomen. It's their opponent's oh, legs. Oh, oh. That's a free throw. And the cover for the win. This is it. Oh, she picked up the victory. Picked up the victory. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Oh, man, I cannot believe how many times the tables have turned in this match tonight. You can't deny that was a hard-fought and well-deserved victory, though. Absolutely. Bouncing back like that is tremendous. Well, even though their original game plan needed changing, being able to shift gears so quickly is what earned the victory here.